and um, welcome back to Rune's Life. So I'm in the shed and I'm just having a coffee break and the kettle is on behind you because I'm going to have a bit of lunch as well. I've, I'm spending the day over here at the plot. Sometimes I like to do that. Um, I have nicked back a couple of times just to let the dogs out. Um, but Chris is actually on nights this week and so he's sleeping. Um, so it's just easier for me to stay over here and uh, I just wanted to be really productive and get lots done with no distractions. Um, so I've been cracking on for quite some time. It's uh, five past one and I've been out here since about ten o'clock. Um, and I've got loads done but I haven't been filming. So what I thought I'd do is just stop while the kettle boils and um, I've already made a cup of coffee. Um, but then I decided actually, oh, there's the kettle. Let me just switch that off. Bear with me. Okay, I'm back. Um, so what I was saying was I'd made myself a cup of coffee um, and then I realised my tummy was rumbling and then I looked at the time and thought, well, it's lunchtime. <laughs> so I thought I would break for lunch and then I'm going to show you what I've been up to um, today because I've got quite a lot done. And um, sometimes it's nice to just not be thinking about filming. Um, so yeah, today I'm very aware of how behind I am. So I decided today, I'm so sorry, that I wasn't going to film and I was just gonna get stuff done. But I am gonna show you what I've been up to. So I'm gonna drink my coffee while my, I'm just gonna put my noodles on to soak. Um, and then I'm gonna have a spot of lunch and then I will show you what I've been up to and plans. So I am filming on my phone. So again, no lapel mic and apologies if there's a bit of wind noise. I'm in the shed at the moment, but let's go and have a little look. So I've managed to harvest the last of the parsnips and the carrots. And there's a few beetroot. And this is just the top of some of the uh, Kaylets. Let's do outside before, because I think the rain might come down. Uh, the garlic's looking really healthy that I put into the tubs. And then I've really been cracking on. So uh, I finished. I finished weeding this bed, so it's now weed-free and ready, so I can start mulching. So I'm concentrating on the beds at the moment and then I've started weeding in the flower bed. The paths do need attention. And then these beds are just a complete scrambly mess. So I've got some beetroot still in here and there's the chives in the far corner um, and an awful lot of weeds. Uh, there's still a couple of swedes in here but they're starting to get munched so I don't think there's anything salvageable left. Um, and that just needs weeding out. Uh, still got the, some on the collets here. Uh, this needs staking up, but it's oh, purple sprouting broccoli and I'm getting plenty of pickings from that. There's a couple of those, they just need staking up. Um, and then some sprouts and the Cavallo Nero. So then other things I have done today is I've taken the blue hoops down so there's no netting here now and I've taken the netting down from the strawberry bed got a nice wheelbarrow full of weeds to take to the compost heaps lots to do around here the netting and bits and bobs have just been thrown for now. The compost bays are filling up and I've also been layering them up with ash from our wood burner and manure from the horses. And there's lots of room left in this bay and I also use this old bin here um, which I've drilled holes into. And then these tubs I've got spikes of those daffodils that I planted which are coming and they're going to look really, really pretty. And then the pansies 
here are looking quite pretty. I think there's a blue one here, the blue next to the yellow on the shed looks really, really pretty. And so into the polytunnel. So this is an empty bed. Those tubs are empty. I've brought the asparagus back in because it's been really frosty and horrible. Um, but at some point I'm hoping to investigate and make sure that it is actually still alive so that when I make those asparagus beds, it's ready. This chard just needs to come up. I'll give it to the chickens. I've had the last pickings off that. This bed is now empty. This is just debris. It's uh, leaves from the parsnips. So I've pulled the last of the parsnips, which I just showed you, and the last of the carrots. So another empty bed here. This had beans in it, so it just needs sorting. It's just got clutter. And you can see there's still some dried pods on this arch. So I need to pull those down and just collect the beans. And uh, yeah, I do need to clean the polytunnel. And then the sweet peas, there's no germination on those yet, but I wouldn't expect that. Oh, look at my filthy fingers. Um, but the onion set that I'd rather than lose because they weren't in the ground, um, they're doing really well in here. So I've just bought myself some time and I'm not going to lose them. What I have managed to get hold of is some of this silver grow, which everybody's been raving about. Um, and I have a supplier near to me where I can get some. Um, I bought a big bag of the Michelite. I've still got a little bit of this one left, but I've got an unopened bag there. And in here is just a mix of um, compost and vermiculite that I've been using for bits and pieces. So everything's coming along. So all in all, I'm having a really productive day and I'm really pleased with the fact that finally I'm getting back on top of this plot. And then just before I get back out and get cracking, so I'm starting to get a bit chilly, um, so I'm going to take the radio out, I'm going to push on and do a little bit more. Um, this year I've actually bought one of these soil testing kits. Um, I bought it online, Garden Tutor, Soil pH um, test strips and I think there's a hundred in here so I've been growing here now for gosh seven years and it's been really really productive um but I have tended to kind of favor some beds for brassicas some beds for onions so I'm just mindful um that I haven't tested the soil at all since I've lived here and I want to give everything the very best chance so I'm going to test the soil and then if necessary, so if I need to um, add some alkalinity, I can do that with, I can either buy some lime or actually um, wood ash from our wood burner. I can sprinkle that, I've got plenty of that. Um, so if I need to correct the soil levels, then I can. Uh, so that was just a little aside. So when I do some soil testing, um, I'll show you how, how quick and easy it is to do. So after a lovely morning through till oh, 
the afternoon it's just on three o'clock um, but the bulk of the day has been spent over at the plot and keeping my voice down because um, Chris is on nights and he's sleeping upstairs so I'm just going to do a little bit of a chat to camera um, and then I'm going to quietly get on um, with some more of my junk journal it's just a lovely thing to sit and quietly do on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> So I've really enjoyed some mindful time doing my junk journal and for those of you not familiar with junk journaling um, I did show you in a previous video how I made this so I've made this book but I can add to it and you can either do pages as you go or you can make it and then add to it which is what I'm doing and it's just to represent what I've done in life so I mean you could add real photographs and so on but the sort of true junk journal style is that you pick from magazines and things that are probably going to go into the bin old cards receipts tickets all those kinds of things and it just represents 
the things that we've done in life. So I'd started mine off um, in October. And again, that's one of the things I love about this. You know, it doesn't have to be the 1st of January or the beginning of a week. It's just whenever you feel like it. Um, and you can start and end these. Some people start them at the beginning of the year and do a year and then they'll tie them up with ribbon, keep them to look at. Um, I'm just really enjoying the process. Um, so I started it in October and it, it's now gone through into February, which is what we're in. Um, I've got some autumn leaves in there that I've collected. Uh, trips to na various National Trust properties, Yuletide. Um, so it's just representing the things that I do. So the pages I've just done are January and it, the stew and dumplings, carrots, because I pulled some carrots up from the garden. There's a kind of yoga stretching pose there because I've started doing more exercise this year. Um, cups of tea, go for a swim, read a book. Um, there's the receipt from Alderford from when we went paddle boarding and had some lovely food. There's a little picture that reminds me of my shed. And so it's just little bits and pieces, um, cups of coffee, some tulips there. And then into February, I just couldn't believe this picture, the one here. It's just like my garden, isn't it? With a yellow table and a watering can and a little mini pond. So it's just when you see things. And then, of course, I've got um, the hyacinths and daffodils representative of the bulbs that I've been growing indoors. And then, of course, my favourite snowdrops that are really representative that spring is on the way and they're everywhere out in the garden at the moment. Um, and then I've just continued. And you'll notice there's two dogs here. And if you follow me on social media, you might already have an inkling. Um, so keep watching if you want to know why I have two dogs here and not one. We've got a new puppy and this is Pippa and I'm sure you'll be seeing lots more of her in future videos.